What's up YouTube, this is Brub52, and welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Um, I'm in the mood for some scares. Not really, I'm completely and totally lying. Uh, but I'm scheduled to do another video today on this game, and... Phew, let's just, let's just do it, let's just do it and get it over with. And over there in the top left you can see it's at, the volume's at 2. That is pretty loud on my computer with these headphones. Oh, why did I just why did I just go into windowed? Oh well, hopefully it'll fix itself. But in the last episode, we got through the first main sequence and we learned that we need to kill Alexander, who is this guy that we have to kill. Oh jeez, all right. Oh jeez, I'm in the feel of it already. All right, so let's go into the archives. Raise up to four. A little bit louder. Again, why are you going into window? Why is it happening? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna play? There we go. Oh, Lord. Can I go back, please? No. Libby Rari, rare books. Alright, so what are we looking for? Looking for some. I don't know, I don't even know what we're looking for. I just know that I'm not finding anything. Ooh, note. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Alright, so that was about like an expedition and going to dunes, I guess, to find a tomb. So I'm not sure how that applies to amnesia. The dark descent. Here's catalog. Uh, this door is already open. Should I mention that? Nope. All right, get out of my way, chair. I got some exploring to do. Ooh. Why is my view going all wonky? This is not normal. Lose my sanity. Oh well. Wait, uh, no, no narration. All right. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. His strong contract will reign for a total of three years. My freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Order and within the sanctum of the Order of Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Gerich. You can. Quickly check the most recent really have pages by pressing N or the journal. Alright. Why am I Hmm. My heart keeps beating, I don't know why. Is it in here? Huh. I bet it's in that room. Or that room. Hear your footsteps. I'm gonna read this note. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need 
to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. To be continued. But I swear I heard footsteps. I swear, grunt. The grunt is in there. That's what the first monster's name is. The one with like half the face. Go away. Nobody wants you, Grant. I swear he's in there. The door is cracked and everything. It scared me half to death. This chair is the thing that's freaking me out the most. All right, just Nothing. Nothing at all. Old two tomes. I'm gonna close that right behind me. Good. Um. There's nothing in here. I'm scared out of my mind. Alright. We shall continue. I'm not a child. I can do this. I can do this. Footsteps. Where it's that room on the end. I'm going here first. It's locked. All right, I'm gonna leave the chair behind. Hello. Let's do this. Let's do this. I miss chair. I want my chair back. Nothing's happened. And I'm scared out of my mind. Stones fell, sealing me inside. Just like your trip to wherever that was. 
Another note. I'm gonna read it. Or fall on the ground. I'm just gonna take a nap. Oh, don't, don't worry. 17th of May, 1830. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay. So yeah, we're trapped. Hello? Anybody in here? This is jump scare material. You kidding me? That was that was the perfect opportunity. Hang on. Close in this. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, this is jump scare material. Okay. I'm totally confused. So, what's my memento right now? Jesus Christ. Uh, the door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Some sort of organic tissue box past the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? So I have to find a way to dissolve the tissue that blocks the refinery. So that's like organs and stuff. And then we need to find a key. Or another way into the history room. So. Um. This is blocked off, so I'd... Oh. Is it? Fragile but not breakable by hand. Can I throw something at it? What about this? This seems strong enough. This is probably to the... Room. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dad. He knows my name. Okay. So I think I know what this is. These books need to be pulled out. And I need to find the rest of them. One. There's one down here. Or on this wall. Right. Oh, hello, oh, my boil. Where the heck is it? Where's the last book? Oh, here's a note. Okay, so I'm gonna read this note. By breaking it. Hit foot. There we go. Owlsdak and Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with sore and owls. 
deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it can be. Albite, the area is haunted by the dark. And any, ask any local and you'll hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some mo modif modest that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were for over, forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by the tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited over the, them over the years and described them as horrible run events. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, and they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which they can be heard stru struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them with which reveal their presence. Which scheme do they follow? Shh! A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Ap Agrippa, as well known as Eritude, visited Alsdick at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for the fortnights as he looked for the remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwest glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away from Glenobe some ten years later. He dismissed the notion after ever visiting Owlstack, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Stop. Okay, sorry. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle near Adstaff, like the most of noble birth. Rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role of the protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region and flourish and remain popular through the presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, before the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea which the Baron, in fact, is the one who's st the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the Covenant Orders of the Black Eagle along with the leaders of the country. Okay, so I think that the Baron is the Grunt. That's what I think. Because he's immortal, and the Grunt is immortal, I guess, considering he's alive, and he's a monster, and he chases you a lot. So, there's one book here. Where's this last one? I can't find it for the life of me. Here's the second one. Oh, all through here. Alright, I got him. Let's do this. Yeah! Boom. Magic. Alright. So, I'm gonna read this note and that'll be. er. pick up the key to what? Wine cellar. Oh. Huh? Alright. So I got the wine cellar key. But, um, that's gonna do it for this episode. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like and comment. I'll see what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!